Hi crafters, this is Amy. Hope you had a wonderful holiday season and new year. Um, going into the new year, the first thing I wanted to start with was uh, to show you a few of my favorite and new favorite things. And some of the things that I really like that I use all the time. Um, of course your ATG gun or some type of tape system. <clears throat> when I first started um, doing a lot of cards and things, didn't have the money to go buy you know every color of ink and that kind of thing so <clears throat> I got these, um, excuse me, <clears throat> um, 30 um, cream chalks and uh, I used these for a long time and they had, you know, these come in this, they come in pastels, they come in, you know, primary colors and um, so I started with this set and then as, you know, time went by I was able to um, get more inks and things, but I still use these. Um, I have this, this is from Recollections, it's an ink briar and uh, Actually, I have not even done that with this. I would like to do that technique. What I use this for is when I piece my things together, like when I cut from the Cricut, um, I use this to flatten them and you know get them really glued together. So I really like that. Um, of course, your Tim Holtz reverse tweezers. Well, these aren't Tim Holtz, are they? These are Tweezer B. And this is the Tim Holtz um, distressor. So I like those. Of course, all my all my Cricut tools. You know, you gotta have those with your Cricut. Love the glue stick. I use glue stick as often as I can when gluing things together. Um, obviously, very cost effective. And I buy them in a big package of I don't know how many are in there, 24 or something like that. So I do use those a lot. And those are things I used, like I said in the beginning, when didn't have a great deal of money to go buy, you know, all of this stuff. So, um, you know, and I got my heat gun, and you know, I have a bunch of other things too. Um, but some of my new favorite things that I maybe aren't really new on the market, but are new to me. Um, one thing I picked up was this Tim Holtz scissors, and wow, I mean, these are just awesome. Um, they cut just about anything and they stay nice and sharp and your hands you can get under pieces of paper and they're really nice love those um, recently when I moved my craft room and reorganized got a label maker gotta love it I can find everything um, I've used it even throughout my house to label things and um, really love the label maker Oops. Um, something I recently started using that I'm sure has been out there quite a while, um, Glossy Accents. Really like this stuff. I'm going to show you a project here in a minute that I used that on. Uh, the stamp -a -jig. Um This, if you do any kind of stamping, especially with um, wood-mounted stamps, and even some of the clear ones. Um, this is a thingamajig, a stampamajig, that you can, well you can see here I've like um, stamped this <clears throat> and you can line it up on there. If you want me to tell you how that works let me know but um, you can find other videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to use that. Sheets of sticky dots. Love, love, love these. Yeah, really, really like these. When you have those pieces, and um, really like this. I've just, just, wor just been working off this one page for quite a while, and even though I've used up probably 80% of it, there's still batches, and you can take your smaller pieces and pick that all up, so there really is could be zero waste, you know, if you were really diligent and got every single little thing off of there. But really love this product. Again, I don't know that it's brand new on the market, but it's brand new to me and I love it. Um, oh, another old favorite thing. Martha Stewart scoreboard. I mean, you can not only just score your 
cards, but you can make then, you know, rosettes, several, you know, sizes of rosettes, and your little boxes, and envelopes, and love the scoreboard. Um, so also I wanted to announce that I hit 100 subscribers and I want to thank all of you subscribers out there um, for following me. I'm going to be doing a giveaway and um, I just wanted to show you uh, what I've been working on. Um, I've been working on re, um, redoing these scar boxes. And I picked these cigar boxes up this summer in Wisconsin Dells when I was down there. I walked into a, uh, it said tobacco and coffee. And I thought, ooh, coffee, I'll go get some ground coffee or, you know, some coffee beans. And I walked in the door and there's a guy just sitting in his, you know, cigars. And it was just a tobacco shop. And um, I asked for coffee and he's like, oh, no, that's just on the building. You know, we haven't sold coffee here since I bought it. And... As I was walking in the door, there was a whole shelving unit full of cigar boxes. And so then I inquired about the cigar boxes. I have, are these for sale? Sure, how much? And he, um, anyway, I ended up paying, I think, $9 for four of these wooden. These are nice wooden boxes. And um, I was able to leave, oh yeah, go Packers. Um, I was able to leave. This is the gold and the labeling from the box. I just use that. Other boxes I will paint. I'll show you an example of that in a minute. I'll paint those out, <clears throat> but this one I didn't have to, so it was really kind of easy to add this. And I don't know if you can see, I used the glossy accents on the top here. Um, I have these. They're K and Company. They're like stamp things. Um, so I used those on these boxes. And... Uh, use some glossy accents. This is a piece of birch bark and uh, then on the inside you know there's just more of these. This is a pocket here and a little uh, clip there and then in the bottom on the front this is a Tim Holtz key and I used uh, this a textured paper the Tim Holtz distressing inks Mostly, uh, you know, a vintage photo and tea dye, and there's some green on there and some black soot. I did the shadowing, um, and then just black on the bottom. So I did that one, and this is what I started with. So you can see, I mean, it's really a beautiful box, really on its own. Not sure I want to look at the Don Diego, um, but I got four of those. Um, and what I do with them, well, here's another, these I picked up too. I got a bunch of these. Um, now this, look, it's got bugs in it and everything. That was at a flea market. Um, these I, I, I bought like six of them for nine bucks. I don't know, something like that. And these I will paint because that one just really wouldn't look right. And here's an example of a box that I painted that was similar to this one. Um, and I painted it, did a crackle finish. I, there's a video I did um, about a year ago when I was uh, doing the uh, Marion Smith 31 Day Challenge. I did this box. And actually what I use these boxes for is I keep my checkbook, return address labels, um, stamps, a calculator, uh, deposit slips, envelopes, I mean those things that you really can't keep digitally and uh, so I decorated the box you know with the stamps and so this is my personal one that I use and then I keep this on my desk downstairs um, so then I made this one and this one I'm working on is not quite done um, has the Tim Holtz pieces on there um, this is a seven gypsy stamp and I also put the glossy accents on there and there. And this I cut with elegant edges on the Cricut. This is another piece of bark. And that I cut out on my Cricut with a, um, it's like a stamp die. And then I just cut it again in the middle. I'm gonna need to rivet that down because it's kind of loose but anyway and then on this uh, inside of here this one isn't quite done um, this is going to be on the bottom 
Um, again, did the glossy accents on here. I'm going to glue that there. Uh, here is what will be the top. Uh, here's the other piece of the birch bark that I cut. And this will be the pocket up here. And I'm not sure what else, and I'll you know line the sides yet. And the sides in this one are done and the bottom. So the reason I'm showing you that is that then I have one more. Well, that's not the reason. Um, I'm, I have the one more box here that I'm going to do, and I'm going to use brown, and I'm going to use these safari papers um, on that one. And uh, then one of these boxes or maybe a choice. Um, I am going to do a giveaway for my 100 subscriber um, goal. Not goal, but I hit 100 subscribers. And uh, so I'm going to do a giveaway and I'll give away one of the three boxes. I think I'll you know, give you a choice of which box. This one, this one, or then once I get this one put together. And I have a few other items that I will give away. Um, I have this Tim Holtz Distress tool. Um, and I have some of these library pockets and I have some other things that I'll put together but I'm going to put a video together you know with all of that and uh, with the giveaway but just kind of wanted to make an announcement of that and uh, show you kind of what I've been up to um, we've had weird weather here in Minnesota um, four days ago it was 53 degrees um, today it's like 13 and we have five inches of snow on the ground um, so things change quickly here and um, had been enjoying the mild winter, but I guess winter is really here. And I uh, hope you have a good day, and uh, talk to you next time.